nikapata simu nikiwa nyumbani kwamba hizo project zenye umejenga hizo madarasa zinakuja kuwa commissioned so i had to go to the side because i called meshmiwa several times and he was not picking my calls so i had to go directly to the site then nikanunua kafuli nikafunga nikasema sasa kama ashiki simu eh wacha mimi nifunge madarasa manake zinapokuwa eh, nini commissioned hakuna mahali kwingine utaenda kudai kwa sababu udai shule unadai CDF na CDF is controlled by the MP Mambo vipi tuko naye Steve K kutoka kule upande wa Western jamaa ambaye wakati mmoja alitrain sana kwa kutoa ngoma ambayo ni ya kufunga ndoa na baadaye tukamuona kidogo akibishana na mbunge wa kule kwake nyumbani Steve mambo vipi Niko poa kabisa labda wewe. Niko salama. Yeah. Tumekuona leo umekuja hapa kutetea wasanii na tumeona umezungumza sana kuhusu wasanii na pesa. Unaumia? Mimi kwanza mimi siumii mm. vile wanavyoniona mimi naishi vizuri mm. lakini nimekuja hapa kwamba kutetea wale wanamziki ambao kwamba wametegemea music. Mm. Sababu unavyojua mimi ni mwanamziki mm. lakini pia side hustle yangu eh, nafanya mimi ni contractor. So inakuwa uchungu sana nikiona wasanii wenzangu wenye wametegemea sana music wanalia na mimi niko na sauti niko na uwezo wa kufika hapa mjini Nairobi na kuwatetea kusungumuza kwa ajili ya wao sasa hiyo imenisababisha sana mimi kufika katika maeneo haya ya yeah. uh, una kufanya kuwa kama contractor na bado we ni msanii unapiga events kila weekend So to manage ni ku balance because you need to employ uh, professionals and uh, what I have done uh, personally I'm not an engineer siwezi nikasoma plan ya nyumba au kusoma BQ ya barabara na nikafanya vile ilivyo nimefungua ofisi na nimejenga ofisi na nimeandika professionals from uh, different fields so mimi nakuwa hapo kama director tu mimi napata kazi na wapea wenye ujuzi wanafanya na mimi nawalipa mshahara na music mimi mwenyewe ndio kila kitu na compose na andika na record nafanya kila kitu na imba so hiyo inanipa nafasi ya e, kukua huku manake weekends kuanzia kama Thursday ndio niko busy lakini hizi siku nyingine kama Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I'm free now to monitor my projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Steve, you pick like zako more than 8 me 8 hours, 8 good hours, more than 8 good hours nimekuwa nikifuatilia sana live zako. How do you manage doing that on stage for more than 8 hours? So, hivyo ni practice na also kuna kitu kwa lugha yetu inaitwa kumsambwa. Yaani kuna kitu inakanda ni mwako. Hiyo kitu ukiwa nayo kwa roho yako ukishaanza kusikia tu litungu inalia ama siri ama those instruments uh, na ushike microphones unaweza imba hapa siku mzima mfililizo kwa sababu ni kitu iko ndani mwako na pia sauti haipotei manake unapoanza kuimba tu maneno yenyewe inakuja sauti inakuja na pia kuna kitu inakanda ndani mwako ukiona unaimba muziki na watu wana dance unaendelea mpaka hata kesho yake so Sijaona kama kuna shida manake sisi huenda tunakuwa na consecutive live performances like um, Friday tuko na function saa tatu mchana tuko na function saa tatu jioni tuko na function Sunday so we always do that na tume, tume manage kwa sababu ni kitu tumezoea yeah tukiwa hapo kwa construction kuna wakati ambapo tuliona mkizozana na mbunge wa kwako yule Didimas Barasa ni kitu gani ilikuwa imefanyika haswa sababu haujawahi zungumza mpaka wa leo? So vile nilivyosungumza kwenye vyombo vya habari ama vile ulivyoona eh, nilikwambia hapo nyuma kwamba mimi ni contractor. Sasa mheshimiwa alikuwa rafiki yangu kutoka mwanzo tukafanya campaign. Mimi natoka Bumula constituency na yeye anatoka Kimilili. Sasa alipopata kiti cha ubunge si kumsumbua wala kumpigia simu kwamba sijui ni pe kazi nini ni mwenyewe akaja akanipigia simu akaniitia kazi kaenda nikakutana na fund manager tuka sign contract ya shule inaitwa Lurare Primary and um, he told me that the, 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 the nini shule ilikuwa na ulemevu wa madarasa na shule zilikuwa karibu kufungua sasa ni harakishe ili ninapomaliza kufanya hiyo kazi nilipwe pesa yangu ambayo mimi nilikimu hiyo masharti nikati 
na nikafanya kwa haraka sana nikachukua pesa kama 2.5 million nikaweka ndani nikafanya kazi lakini kumaliza nikaanza kuzungushwa tu silipo hiyo pesa sasa nikasikia nikapata simu nikiwa nyumbani kwamba hizo project zenye umejenga hizo madarasa zinakuja kuwa commissioned so i had to go to the side because i called meshmiwa several times and he was not picking my calls so i had to go directly to the site then nikanunua kafuli nikafunga nikasema sasa kama ashiki simu wacha mimi nifunge madarasa manake zinapokuwa ni commissioned hakuna mahali kwingine utaenda kudai kwa sababu udai shule unadai CDF na CDF is controlled by the MP so i had to go to the site akajaribu kutuma watu waniite waniongeleshe lakini mimi nikakataa kwa sababu nilijua E, sababu ya mimi kuongea na yeye ilikuwa ni kazi na kazi imeshaisha sasa nataka masungumuzo iwe ni pesa so kukawa hivyo but yeye akakuja na magunz lakini wale magunz alikuja nao kwa sababu wengi walikuwa wananijua hawakufanya ile kitendo ama kulingana na maagano yao wakao wametulia mpaka mwenyewe akaanza vita so nikampeleka kotini na baadaye nilimsamee kwa sababu niliona ni mtu hana mbele wala nyuma. Na pia yeye maisha yake ni mtu yatima. Sasa nikaona nika withdraw your case of assault and uh, I came here in Nairobi to meet the CEO of CDF na wanapanga kulipa hiyo pesa. Mpaka sasa hivi wajalipa lakini I think in the next like on January eh, next year they gonna pay me the money. Nilikuwa yeah. nikipitia comment section kwa one of your songs nikaona wafans wanauliza kuwa if you can do collab with uh, any artist from outside Kenya na isiko ya ki hiyo lugha yetu ni utumia either english ama kiswahili So we I'm planning with a, a couple of artists um, uh, maybe some of them are from the US there's a, a musician called Wolf Yellow Wolf. So we are planning also uh, I've just communicated with the manager uh, last week. Na pia tumepanga kuna collabs mingi zinakuja kutoka ukambani, kutoka ujaluoni, kutoka kwa kikuyu, kutoka sehemu zote manake sasa tumegita mizizi hapa Nairobi kutafuta hizo connection ili tufanye collaboration na wasanii wengine. Yeah. Asante sana Steve. Nimeshukuru sana, mbarikiwe. Asante.